of look which I really really like I did not plan this in fact you guys are gonna see I have like a completely different background and it just it didn't even end up going with this look at all let's go ahead and get started with this video I'm super excited because this is a good one. So the first product we're trying out is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. This is supposed to refine pores, fill fine lines, brightens complexion, and evens out skin tone. Whoa, I got a little way too much. It feels very smooth on the face. We're gonna be trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I got this in the color Soft Beige. I have heard so many great things about this. So I'm super excited. I'm not sure if I got my color, guys. I don't know if I'm applying way too much, y'all. <gasps> what is this foundation supposed to do? Oh, wow. It's giving such great coverage. Like, I don't feel this on my skin, and it doesn't look cakey at all. Why do I feel like this smells like tequila? Not tequila. Uh, Jaeger? I'm really liking the way that this is feeling on the face. Oh. I feel like it's almost drying into a powdery finish. For concealer, we are gonna use the Photo Focus, and I got this in the color Light Ivory. So we're gonna pop this underneath the eyes. I think this is my color. It feels very creamy. Yeah, this blends out so nicely. I have tried out their eyeshadow palettes, but this was years ago. I feel like they've come out with so many things after that, and this is for sure amazing coverage. I am popping this on the eyelids too, just so we could prime the eyes. Concealer is all done, and I love it. So now we're gonna take Take. We're gonna take the contouring palette. By the way, I got this in the color Dulce de Leche. So I'm gonna take, sorry guys. I'm gonna take this shade. That's kind of powdery. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. You know what I really love about this? It's so buttery. Are you guys seeing how nicely it's packing on? I'm so amazed, honestly guys, I really have heard amazing things about this brand. I'm gonna bake my eyelids too, that way we don't have any creases. We're gonna take the Wet n Wild Press Powder. I got this in the color Warm Light. I'm just taking the powder and applying this all over the face. You know, I'm noticing now that I'm applying the powder, there were certain areas where the foundation did cling I'm not sure if it's just my face. Ooh, let's contour the face. I'm super excited to use this because the highlighting one was already so buttery. Oh my god, this one's so buttery too. Oh my god, yes. I think this is my color because I do sometimes struggle with my contouring shades. Come through contour. I do feel like it's coming out a little bit more orange on camera than it actually is. Let's snatch the nose. So I just wanna show you guys how the little palette looks so far. Looks a little dusty. I think like I don't care that much because it does blend out so nicely. I don't know if it was just the CVS I went to but there was only three, no not three. The brush to sell three or four shades of blush like they look like bronzers so i'm not sure if this is the only one that they have that's actually like a blush color but it looked really pretty i feel like it's giving me a little bit of glow and i feel like it's kind of giving me nars orgasm vibes or maybe i need to like compare them side by side to actually see if they're the same time for my favorite part i'm going to be using the mega glow highlighting powder and this is in the color precious petals i I have actually heard amazing things also about their highlighters. I don't know exactly how many highlighters they've come out with, but there was two. Well, let's swatch it. Ooh, why do I feel like it's not gonna be my color? Ooh, I couldn't see it because the light wasn't reflecting well, but I, I see that highlight. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy because it feels like super lightweight like I don't feel it going on my skin But I'm looking at that glow like you're coming through. Let's snatch the nose a little bit I'm gonna highlight the forehead a little bit just because I want to look extra glowy today I was a little bit afraid because when I did the swatch it kind of looked dark, but once I put it on I was like You did good The AC went on, so it scared the heck out of me. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be taking the All Natural. Um, honestly, it looks like a great everyday palette. And dramatic looks. I'm kind of feeling a glam look today, even though it's 
almost four in the morning, but we're gonna go there. So I kind of want to start off with this shade first. We're gonna pop this on the crease as a transition color. Well, I gotta say this does feel very buttery as well. So they really are blending like a dream. I'm kind of feeling the cranberry shade right here. I just don't know if it's gonna go with the peachy blush I put on. See, this is what I was like struggling with at the store. I was like, I'm feeling a cranberry eye, but how is that gonna mix with a peach blush? Let me know if you guys know of any other blushes from Wet n Wild. Maybe they didn't have other options. We'll see how it looks. I kinda wanna do a halo eye. Hmm. Should we do it? And I'm not getting that much fallout for it being very buttery. Bring this in the inner corner as well. We're just gonna connect them together and boom. The more I apply, the chalkier the eyeshadow gets. Do you guys kind of see that? I don't know if it's my brush. Depending on the shape, it could give it the little harshness of it. I'm gonna switch to this smaller brush. I think it might have been the brush. I do wish I had a warmer color for me to kind of blend the edges. So I'm just gonna take my little contour palette and, oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can never open packages. <gasps> really? Is this for real right now? Are you serious? Oh my God, I can't. Wow, oh my God. Lord have mercy on my soul. So let's take the warmness and pop it right above. So I have a question for you guys. Does Wet n Wild have single eyeshadows? Because I was looking for some when I was at CVS and I didn't see any. I'm starting to think maybe I'm just layering it too much where it's looking patchy. Both eyes are done. I feel like I was maybe applying too much pressure. This eye actually looks a little better. I think it had to do a lot with a brush. I noticed a lot of brushes with a point can sometimes leave like streaks on your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this color right here. I wanna say it's kind of a bronze color. So I'm just gonna apply this on the center of the eyelid. I do wanna wet it with Fix Plus because I want it to look very foiled. I got myself the Photo Focus Setting Spray. It looks so cute, by the way, like the packaging is adorable. Actually, the eyeshadow feels very buttery. I'm gonna first apply it without it and see how it looks. So that's starting to look really good, but I do want to wet it. <gasps> okay, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that cranberry and bring it in the outer parts just to blend the edges. I kind of wanna go in the inner corner with the highlighter. I wanna see how this works. So that did not work. I wanna try this. That looks really pretty. It's kind of like a very shimmery soft pink. Yes. There you go. I got this coal in the color black and I'm just gonna apply this on my waterline. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take the cranberry color and we're just gonna smoke out the eye. I'm gonna take just my brush that I use for my transition. I'm just gonna go under to like blend the lower lash line out. So last but not least for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take this black eyeshadow. I'm actually really glad that it has a black eyeshadow. I'm just applying this like on top of the lash line. I like doing this. It kind of makes the eye look a little bit more dramatic without applying eyeliner. It just kind of gives it like a smoky effect as well. I'm gonna take the Mega Volume. I've never tried this out, but I really like the way the wand looks. It's not giving them that heavy coat. I feel like it's very soft. So this is how the eyes look without false lashes. You can leave it like this, but a look is not complete without lashes, in my opinion. So we're gonna pop them on. My favorite right now are the Lily Galici lashes in the Style Miami, so I'm gonna pop those on. I actually tried to look for false lashes of Wet n Wild. I'm not sure if they have any. I'm gonna draw in my brows using the All Natural Palette. I'm gonna start off with this one, just because I feel like it's a very dark brown, and if I I feel like it's not dark enough, I will go in with a black. It looks a little thick. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna use the concealer. So that is how the brow looks. I'm really impressed because I just used this color. That means you could honestly just use this for your brows. Whenever you're out of your brow product or you just simply don't have any brow products, you could honestly just use an eyeshadow palette. I have been doing this 
for years. Finally, moving on to lips, I picked up these two liquid lipsticks, and these are the liquid katsu matte lipsticks. I picked up the color Rebel Rose. Kind of looks like it would go with this look. And I also picked up the color Nudie Patootie. I think I'm gonna mix both. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna take the mauve one first. I like the little applicator because it does have a little curve to it. Now I'm going to top it off with Nudie Patootie. Alright, quick background change. I had to change the background because I feel like the red was just really throwing everything off. It, it really didn't go at all with my makeup look, so I feel like this looks a little bit better. I had so much fun trying out these products. Oh, actually I forgot to set my face. Oh my god, I'm crazy. Okay, let's set the face together. All right, so this is the finished look. Honestly, I had so much fun filming this video. I would say my favorite thing out of this bunch would be the foundation and the concealer because it dried into a powdery finish and it gave such amazing full coverage. I love the way that this makeup look turned out. It's kind of like a mauve type of look. I'm really feeling it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one.